far the Paralympic movement has come since I started competing. To think that U.S. Paralympics did not even exist. Thank you. To think that U.S. Paralympics did not even exist until 2001, three years after I began competing, is simply incredible. We have made so much progress regarding inclusion, athlete rights, and equal payment for the accomplishments of Olympians and Paralympians. I guess now it would only be fitting to ask, are retroactive old payments available? <laughs> But in all seriousness, when I was an athlete, I never dreamed how far this would take me. The sport of swimming, holy moly. And now, I've been fortunate enough to be able to give back to the sport that I love so much by being an employee of the U.S. And Olympic, Olympic and Paralympic, that's important, Paralympic Committee. I first have to thank my parents. <laughs> I first have to thank my parents who are here tonight for the never-ending support of my dreams who made this possible. They were the ones who braved the crazy early mornings of a swimmer's practice and held me accountable so I would learn to own my decisions in my athletic career. I have to also thank my brother and sister. They were the craziest people in the stands and they yelled so loud and many, many childhood nicknames that I will never repeat. But they were the loudest, and I'm so honored to have them as my family. I was blessed throughout my career with great coaches. For me, in the beginning, it was Marie Cook and Bill Seaver. They taught me that there were more strokes than the doggy paddle, and they led me to my first World Championships and Paralympic Games. I'm going to struggle with this one because I was fortunate enough to have this table straight in front of me as my, my table for tonight. I'm forever grateful for John Maddows, who's here tonight. Please stand. <laughs> and, and Woody Woodard, who conveniently in the Colorado State Hall of Fame is tonight, as we have several inductees um, tonight being honored, so they split. So thank you, John, for being here. But I'm sure it was a memorable day in their coaching careers in a four, four and three quarter inch. Yes, that quarter of an inch is very important. Swimmer so from Butte, Montana showed up on the pool deck as a hopeful walk-on. I am so grateful for John and Woody that you were open to my potential as an athlete and you came up with creative and challenging workouts for me and you never ceased to challenge me. You made me rise to the occasion. They took what I had started as a pretty great career, and they made it an extraordinary career, which I still cannot believe that was part of my life. Thank you to Julie Deslier for your coaching and mentorship. She was there when I packed my teddy bear in my backpack going to the Sydney Games, and she was there when I got my first grown-up big kid job at the USOPC. So thank you. I would be remiss to not thank the late Jimmy Flowers. He never ceased to make me laugh. He gave some incredible practices, and I'm honored to be one of the athletes that was lucky enough to swim for him. And thank you to my teammates, many of whom are here tonight. You guys made this the journey of a lifetime. You held me accountable, you challenged me, and man, we had some fun. <laughs> Lastly, thank you to my colleagues at the USOPC, to the USOPA. I'm forever grateful that you helped bring back the Hall of Fame so that we could all be recognized long after the lights go down. Thank you very much. Congratulations to the fellow class of 2019. Let's have a great night.